most of you know, this is my 29 Model A. And we're gonna go ahead and start tearing this thing apart because the fuel injection on this thing is not happening. I don't know if y'all noticed when I was pulling in, it looked like a dude with a vape pen sitting at a stoplight. Not gonna work. So the best thing to do to fix this fuel injection is take it off and put a completely different one on there. Right? Seems like the most logical thing for me to do. So let's get into it. Start taking this thing apart. Doing? Being annoyed. <laughs> hey, Riley. Oh, she don't want to be on camera. back on the Model A today. So yesterday I spent a little bit of time. I got the dash and stuff stripped out of it. Don't pay attention to that wiring. I unplugged everything and just kind of threw it back. That's the chassis harness. You can see how my brake master cylinders and stuff are. So I got the old dash out. Uh, I'm not gonna use that dash no more. Uh, I got the intake and everything pulled off the engine and I got this Holly intake sitting on it. I just wanted to see it. I'm actually gonna take this intake and clear coat it. So that way it doesn't get all oxidized and stuff. I'm probably gonna get a new water pump for the car. Uh, it didn't have any problems before, but I can't remember if that was a used water pump that I had laying around or what. So I figured this is a good time, just go ahead and do that. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna finish getting the engine ready to pull the trans, I'm going to get the engine trans ready to pull out. So I'm going to work on getting those two pulled out. I got to get the exhaust done, engine mounts, cross member, and drive shaft. And she should be ready to come out. And then that way I can get that engine on stand. We can do, a, do the cylinder heads, do cam swap, do all that stuff with it on a stand. Put the new transmission on it, which is sitting over there. Get that put on there and get it stick back, stuck back in the car and start wiring in the holly. So, let's get to work. Yoke's bigger than the shaft. That's cool. And that's and that's what I was talking about when I said uh, hopefully I don't break my drive shaft. 
Y'all see why now. Y'all see why now. you saw I made a mess down there but it's okay I'm the person that cleans the shop so now I got to roll this car out of the way and get that cleaned up engine transmission is out of the car get this transmission off because as you'll know we're going to 470 W and get those headers off get the heads off get everything on an engine stand swap in my other camshaft stick it back in and repeat the process but this gives me a chance to pressure wash all of this and clean it up and three years of road grime that I've had on this car. Like I said, when I built this car three years ago, I drove it. I, I, dro I, I drove this car a lot. So luckily I'm going with this Holly and I'll be able to start driving it again and enjoying the car again like I used to like all the time. So there you go, it's getting late. Sun's starting to go down. I got some stuff I got to do. Till next time.